In this video, we'll be looking at how to find angle measures using a calculator. Now, if you need to find the angle measure, you don't know what the angle is, you use the inverse function keys. Those are inverse sine, inverse cosine, inverse tangent, or you may have uh, arc sine, arc cosine, arc tangent showing on your calculator. On the calculator that we'll be using, these functions are accessed. Notice that right above the sine key is our inverse sine. Right above the cosine key is the inverse cosine. And right above the tangent key is inverse tangent. And we access those by using second which is this yellow button, and then pressing the sign key. So we use those keys to find the measure of an angle when the sine ratio, the cosine ratio, or the tangent ratio is known, and we need to find the angle. So let's do an example. Use a calculator to find an angle theta in the interval from 0 to 90 degrees inclusive that satisfies each condition. And our first problem is the cosine of theta is approximately 0 0.921854056. To get theta by itself, we would inverse cosine both sines. And this, these inverse functions give us theta on the left is equal to. And then we have to get our calculator. Since we're uh, working in degrees, make sure that your calculator shows that it's in degrees. If it's not, um, you need to either check your mode or, in this case, there's a DRG button. When you press that button, you have the option to either go into degrees, radians, or grads. So we want degrees, so we would press Enter and make sure that it shows degrees there. And then to do our problem, we just hit second cosine. And then the cosine ratio, which is 0 0.921854056. Close the argument and hit Enter. So I would write this as 22.9 degrees. Now you could check yourself by actually doing the cosine of 22.9, keeping in mind that there will be some rounding error, but we can see when we have cosine 22.9 that we do get 0 0.921854.06, so that checks pretty close. Now for our next example, we want to find theta when we know that the cotangent is 1.4466474. Well, cotangent is a reciprocal function. So I need to first write this in terms of one of my three main trig functions. So I would write this as tangent theta is equal to 1 divided by 
Then, to get theta by itself, I want to inverse tangent both sides. These inverse functions cancel each other off, and I have just theta on the left side approximately equal to, and then I'm ready to get my calculator. So I want inverse tangent, so second tangent, and then 1 divided by 1.4466. Four seven four. Close the argument and hit enter. So it looks like our angle is 34.7 or 34.65. Let's write that.